Then he did the same thing to the other whose houses, leaving crumbs much too small for the other whose mouses. It was a quarter past dawn, all the who's still a bed, all the who's still a snooze when he packed up his sled, packed it up with their presents, the ribbons, the wrappings, the tags and the tinsel, the trimmings, the trappings. 3,000 feet up, up the side of Mount Crumpet, he rode with his load to the tip top to dump it. Poo poo to the who's, he was graciously humming. They're finding out now that no Christmas is coming. They're just waking up. I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open a minute or two. Then the who's down in Whoville will all cry boo hoo. That's a noise, grinned the Grinch, that I must simply hear. So he paused, and the Grinch put his head to his ear, and he did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started in low, then it started to grow. But the sound wasn't sad. Why, this sound sounded merry. It couldn't be so, but it was merry, very. He stared down at Whoville. The Grinch popped his eyes. Then he shook. What he saw was a shocking surprise. <laughs>